we've set up a simple way for you to give to our church online. If you want to give a quick gift, enter an amount, select a fund, then enter your email address and your first and last name. Then enter your payment details and click Give. And that's it. We'll send a receipt to your email address. To use a saved payment method or manage a recurring donation, you'll want to log in. Click the Login button and we'll send a code to your phone or email account. Verify the code and you're in. Now your payment info is ready to go when you want to make a donation. To manage your giving details, switch over to the My Giving page. Here you'll see more ways you can give. You can also add a payment method, like a bank account or a debit card, set up a recurring donation, and view your giving history. So good to be with you today, uh, together in the Word. I find my heart today in a place of being able to know that the Lord is there as strength and to know that we can lean upon Him with all the challenges that seem to be around us today. I'm just so thankful that we have the Lord to lean upon. Just to be able to speak the name of Jesus makes all the difference in the world. And I trust for you, that's the way you sense or, or seem to grasp it as well. I encourage you right now, if you haven't mentioned or said his name or opened your heart, give that a moment and just say, Jesus, perhaps from your heart, you want to open it up to him and just, Jesus, I love you. I thank you. And begin to just from your heart today, tell the Lord how much you're so thankful that he died on the cross. That he shed his precious blood. That he rose from a borrowed grave. And that he's alive forevermore. He is our resurrection in church. He is our life today. So I encourage you, whatever you're going through. Even if you walked away from him or if you've never believed in him or if you've even never heard of him. Let me just introduce you to Jesus Christ, the son of the living God. And just to know that he is here to be for you. As his word said, he is for us and not against us. The word of the Lord even goes as far to tell us about Jesus saying this even really about himself in John 14 when he said in verse 1, let not your heart be troubled. You believe in God, believe also in me. So perhaps we could title this today, healing of a troubled heart. So verse 1 again of John 14 just says, let not your heart be troubled. You believe in God. Jesus said, believe also in me. Then he went on to say what he was on the journey for to do. In this instance, he said, in my father's house are many mansions. If it were not so, I would have told you. I go to prepare a place for you. And if I go and prepare a place for you, I will come again. Oh, I trust you're looking for his return today and that you are able to find that comfort and strength in that as well. And he said, I will come again and receive you to myself that where I am, there you may be also. And where I go, you know. And the way you know. One of his disciples by the name of Thomas said to him, Lord, we do not know where you are going and how can we know the way? Jesus said to him, what an answer. I am the way, the truth, and the life. And then he went on to say, no one comes to the Father except through me. Church, he is our access to our Heavenly Father. He is our entrance. As he said it, 
He is the only way. So what we need to do is understand that we have this opportunity of knowing Jesus. Because Jesus said in his continued conversation with Philip, he said, if you had known me, you would have known my father also. And from now on, you know him and have seen him. This is where Philip said to Jesus, one, another disciple of the Lord, Lord, show us the Father, and it is sufficient for us. Oh, what a reply. When Jesus said to him, Have I been with you so long, and yet you have not known me, Philip? He who has seen me has seen the Father. So how can you say, Show us the Father? Do you not believe that I am in the Father and the Father in me? The words that I speak to you, I do not speak on my own authority. But the Father who dwells in me does the works. Believe me that I am in the Father and the Father in me, or else believe me for the sake of the works themselves. Most assuredly, I say to you, he who believes in me, this is Jesus speaking, the works that I do, he will also, and the greater works than these he will do because I go to my Father. And whatever you ask in my name, that I will do, and that the Father may be glorified in the Son. So if you ask anything in my name, I will do it. I believe with all of my heart that what we ask of the Lord, as long as it's going to glorify Him, he is desiring to answer it in fully. Sometimes we forget that part of verse 13 when he says, And whatever you ask in my name, that I will do, that, that my Father may be glorified in the Son. So in other words, even in the book of James of the Bible, in the New Testament, James said, You ask, but you do not receive because you ask amiss. I think a lot of people, when they read these verses back in John 14 that I was just reading, they think, well, if he just said, I would ask anything in his name, he'll do it, then I would just ask anything. Well, here in that verse 13, he ended after saying, whatever you ask in my name, that I will do. Then he said that the Father may be glorified in the Son. So in other words, you can ask it, but it's got to fit within what's going to bring glory <clears throat> to him it's not to bring glory to us or just to give us necessarily just what we want Matthew six thirty three said but seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness then it says and all these things shall be added unto you so in other words if we can get our troubled heart in the hands of the peace of the Lord Jesus Christ and knowing that he really desires the best for us, and he does. Then we can ask in his name, and it would fit within what would bring glory to him. Amen? That, to me, is a place of how the Lord heals the troubled heart, because he truly is the healer today. And I believe with this few moments together, that is what the Lord had wanted me and you together at this moment to let you know. For the ones of you that are needing a healing in a troubled heart or troubled situations that has your heart so heavy or so concerned or even fear and anxiety, so many things that can be affecting our heart today where you can't sleep, even to the point perhaps where you can't eat, or it could be affecting you just the opposite. That it is causing you to do things that is to the extreme that is not working out. Good for your benefit. So Lord, we come to you right now on behalf, Lord, of troubled hearts. Lord, for people that have such heavy burdens, you told us if we would just cast our cares on you, Lord, to care, because you care for us, that you would make our burdens light and the yoke easy. So, Lord, that makes all the difference in the world. I'm not sure if in our own life we feel 
just that transition all the time. I do believe we sense it many times of how the burden seems to lighten. But Lord, to me, it's just a place of trust in you and knowing that you're going to get us through. You're going to carry us through. It may seem heavy, but it's really not overbearing like it was because we're looking to you. We have lifted up our eyes. We now, Lord, are looking to those things around us. And you told us, Lord, that if we would look up and lift up our eyes and know that our redemption draweth nigh, when we see all these things that you have described to us in Matthew 24, Lord, of all the signs of the times and things that are going on, we see them being fulfilled today. Now, Lord, we just believe right now that there is that peace from you through this agreement in this prayer with those right now, Lord, that is receiving this word. Lord, that they are finding your peace which passes all understanding. Hallelujah. And we give you glory and praise for it all in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. He's here for you today. He loves you today. He cares what's going on in your life. May the Lord bless you today is my prayer. Thank you so much for being with me together in the word. God bless you till we meet again.